Welcome back. We're getting ready to start game four. New Bremen comes up with a big performance in game number three. They went 25-19 and did so, Matt, by one attacking and two not making many mistakes. They really played well in game number uh, three. Yeah, they had multiple kills, 17 total kills. Only two errors <coughs> on the Knoxville side. They had a total of six errors and 13 kills, but just not enough for the New Bremen Cardinals. You mentioned the big three hitters, if you will, for the New Bremen Cardinals. Heitkamp and Orange each with six kills. Jones with three in that set number three. So they really attacked the ball well. They got good rhythm offense and uh, played well when they had to. Now they'll see once they can duplicate that effort. Now for New Knoxville, didn't play awful in game number three, but uh, just didn't win the attacking battle like they wanted to. And they, again, will they will, with the somewhat of the advantage now, the momentum, they are, or the, I should say the lead two to one, to try to close it out here in game number four. Yeah, both teams brought a good crowd with them here today. There's a whiteout going in the student section over in New Bremen, a blackout going over here in New Knoxville. Definitely uh, town support all around. A couple good attacks by New Bremen. New Knoxville able to keep the ball alive as they will force New Bremen to attack again. Uh, Heitkamp takes a lot off of it, sees the opening and pushes it right down on the court for New Bremen's 1-0 lead here in game four. That's a first kill of the first set, first point to Bremen. And a service error to follow. Back to serve now is number nine, Jenna Sweeterman. 97% on the season is Sweeterman. Done a phenomenal job from that 30-foot line. Heitkamp has to push it over. She's in the back row. It really looked like a four hit. I didn't see it. It was touched by New Knoxville at the net. Lammers hits it hard. Good play by the Cardinals. They keep it alive, and they win it. Heitkamp deflected it. Clooney made a miraculous save, and I believe it was Orange that hit it over New Knoxville. As we take another look at it here. Well, that was just the attack. Clooney's diving backward save there. That was just absolutely amazing. Score now, 2-1, Bremen in the lead. Caitlin, or, or Caitlin Sweeterman. The Knoxville with a slide offense or slide attack dug up by the Cardinals. It's going to be a free ball over by Elise Clooney. This will give the Rangers a chance to go. Kept alive by New Knoxville. Good play on defense. Touched back. Schreer pushes it over. Kept alive by the Cardinals and Paige Jones. Down the line. Scrappy defense on both sides. But Paige Jones wins the point, the third of the game for the Cardinals. Cardinals doing what they wanted to do in the keys. They have a fast tempo right now, and they are receiving that ball well. All three points from a kill from one, two, three, Jones, Arns, high camp. And you bring oh, there's gonna be a lift there, two hand hit. So three to two now your score, I wanna mention on the flip side of that, though, the only two points Knoxville has is off a serving error and a hitting error. They had their strikers are not hitting at all. Kenji Schreier to serve. Clooney gets it up to the setter. Orange out of the middle, saved by Luff, Rachel Luffel. Way off the side of the court, Lammers hits it across. Jones, again with authority, powers it through. Jones and Devin Heitkamp both earned First team all MAC honors for New Knoxville, Madison Lammers first team honors. Second team honors for New Bremen went to Caitlin Arns and for New Knoxville, Kenzie Schreer. An honorable mention for Elise Clooney and Rachel Luffel. So both these teams well represented in the MAC postseason awards as Beerline records a kill. That's the first kill now with the score 4-3 for New Knoxville, lead, or down by one. Beerline had a nice set number three for the Rangers, recording four kills, and gets one here now in set number four. Net violation against the Cardinals. 
The game tied now, four to four. The Bremen has led throughout this game number four. Logan Wells' attack is pushed back. Sweeterman finds it. Caitlin Sweeterman gives the Cardinals their 5 4 lead again. Kind of an awkward play as Sweeterman just had to get it over, and the left hander caught the sideline. Matt didn't, didn't make it in by much, but she does record her first kill. A yeah, very nice placement. She averages 0.4 kills a game, and that is her first kill all night long. So She's a setter. She doesn't get many swing opportunities, and High Camp and Clooney. Combined to block Lammers' attack, so termination block for the Cardinals. Back to the two-point lead. Yeah, Devin Highcamp, she's been up at the net blocking, and her kills are just out of this world so far tonight. Luffles' attack picked up. Short set out of the middle for Highcamp, played up by the Rangers. Rachel Luffle right front. Good net play by the Cardinals, keeping it alive, and they will be called for the illegal hit. And that's a fourth error, at least, or third or fourth error, Matt, committed by New Bremen, and it's early in this set. Yeah, that's a fourth error. They've given up five points total for Knoxville, one off the kill by uh, beer line. They're definitely giving the points away. Logan Wells' attack picked up. Jones, or I'm sorry, Hi, Cameron Clooney got a touch on that. It will be not playable. So the hitting air by the Cardinals. And New Knoxville has tied things up at six all. They will have a chance to serve here now to try to take their first lead of game number four. Knoxville just taking what Bremen's given them, staying in this game up two sets to one. Both teams being active at the net with some good touches and good self-defense, defense. Late whistle, but a double hit violation. And New Knoxville has taken their first lead in set number four, six to seven, or seven to six with Lagerman continuing to serve. And that one will catch the net. The service error, the first of set four for New Knoxville. We're tied up at seven apiece. As into the front row for New Knoxville comes Madison Lammers. I'm sorry, in the back row, Madison Lammers now in, and also Allie Howe in for New Bremen to serve. Back set to beer line. Saved by the Cardinals. High camp high up, tips it over, saved by the Rangers. Four hits, never went over the hitting error by New Knoxville. Couple Cardinals right there in case it did come over. Todd Hinkle again, your up judge and the down official Steve Trout. Your two corners are gonna be Beth Edwards and Dan Cook. Middle attack and the double hit or the handling error called by against the Rangers. That's the first one called on the setter this, you know, the whole game. So Kenzie Schreyer's had a good game. That is her first double hit. Allie Howe for New Bremen. Back set to beer line. Off of Howe, saved by Jones and free balled over. So good defense by the Cardinals. New Knoxville, a chance to go to work. And Leffel taps it in. So she took, again, a lot off that attack, Matt, and just found the opening. Yeah, that's the eighth point now for Knoxville, down by one, but only the second earned point that hasn't been given to them. Bremen playing a lot of, you know, good ball, their back's against the wall. New Knoxville forces you a lot of times to make your own mistakes. Not only mistakes there, it's a good rhythm offense to get into the system. Good set by Madison Pape, good hit by Devin Heitkamp. Heitkamp with her second kill. She's Total in. over all day long. That takes her to 15. Clooney will run into her serve and send it over. 10-8 your score, game number four. High Camp and Jones both combined on a termination block. And now 11-8 in favor of Nebreman. The three-point lead now the biggest of game number four. 
Hard serve by Clooney. Lammer sizes it up from the 10 foot line. Clooney into the net, I don't think it ever made it. I don't think she made it over. That would have been Schwederman going up for the block. Yeah, I can't tell by the mechanics if it went or not. It's a point for New Knoxville. I do know that. And Schwederman is serving 11-9. Tipped over. New Bremen runs it down. And it drops. Madison Pape, I believe it was, number 21, if I read that right, Matt. Yep. Had to wait to see the, who actually made the contact. New Bremen gets a 12th point. They maintain now their biggest lead of set four at three. And the service error carries long. So back to a two point lead now, 12 10. As New Bremen has committed their second service error. Schwederman to serve. Number nine for the Rangers. Back row attack and in, good timing. High camp from beyond the 10 foot line records her third kill. And makes up for the service error to give New Bremen now their 13th point. If high, if high camp scores here, I'd look for Knoxville to take a timeout, try to stop this momentum that's just running over the Rangers right now. And right now it'll be Caitlin Sweeterman coming in to serve and we'll see once what Coach Webb does. Right now kind of a big point coming up right now with New Bremen on top by three. Deep serve nearly would have been out. Good swing by Caitlin Lammers. It's saved by New Bremen. Schreyer attacks. High camp in the right place to save it. And the officials. That turnover is going to really Yeah, turnover. It. It's a good way to say it. It's almost like a football turnover. You know, the give and take, and that violation is a giveaway. 13-11. Kenzie Schreyer for New Knoxville serving the ball. Jones high in the air, picked up there by the Rangers on her soft attack. Leffel also with a soft attack over. High camp attack picked up and they go with a slide play on the backside. Shana Beerline came off of Jones. Good effort there by Beerline and good timing and as you mentioned, off the hands of Jones, 12th Ranger point. Yeah, with High Camp Jones and Schwederman all going up all the time, it's kind of got to be frustrating for Knoxville because they've had so many block back at them here. And that's an ace. The pass goes down, and New, uh, New Bremen will take a timeout. We'll take one with them with this game tied at 13 all here on NK Telco Sports. Need a good night's sleep? Here at Francis Furniture, we fulfill all your needs and wants with a huge selection of quality, low-priced furnishings. We guarantee our mattresses will give you the best night's sleep ever. Timeout called by Coach Jenkins. Her team has been drawn even now. The Rangers have come back to tie it up at 13 apiece. And on that, we have a total of eight errors again by New Bremen. That's just letting New Knoxville hang there. But like you said earlier, Jeff, it's just like New Knoxville just keeps giving it to them and then hoping they mess it up in the process. Kenji Schreer recorded that last ace for the Rangers to tie it. That forced a timeout. New Bremen got a good attack by Arns. And they get a block, a termination block by Paige Jones and Caitlin Arns. So Arns very active in that point, had a good attack. And then was part of the block for point. Gives New Bremen back a one point lead of 14 13. That's four blocks. And then there's the service error, letting Knoxville right back in. 14 all, the third service error. Remember in set three, a, a game in which New Bremen won, they committed just two errors the whole set. Yeah, doing really, did really well that last set. Came right off her foot off number six, Devin Heitkamp for the ace. Trying to get out of the way, couldn't get so in time, and a point 
And now the lead goes over to the Rangers. Madison Lammers with the ace. Knocks it with a total of two aces so far in this set. Quick set in the middle. One by Caitlin Arns off of Caitlin Lammers' arm. So Arns, her first kill. More importantly, ties this set up. New Knoxville leads the set, leads the match two games to one. Schreier sets Rachel Luffel in the front. It goes off of Paige Jones. Arms can't run it down. Rachel Luffel, her second kill. That's her second kill, only the third kill in this entire game, three. For New Knoxville, leading 16-15, set four. High camp's attack is deflected and over Clooney attacks. Luffel hits it hard and a couple over passes allows Jenna Sweeterman, number nine. New Bremen did a good job keeping it alive but couldn't get into offense and that just let New Bremen continue Time to hit. Called. Time, Time out, out called by Teresa Jenkins so we'll take one as well here on NK Telco Sports. employees are your most valuable asset. Protect them by stopping copier violence. 4U Office provides a full line of quality printers and copiers that keeps your team working efficiently and safely. Welcome back to Van Wert, where the Rangers have taken a two-point lead. 17-15, New, New Bremen is now out of timeouts. And New Bremen must win this game as they trail 2-1 to one in the match. Abby Lagerman for the Rangers. Serving the ball over. High campus attack, caught the tape and goes down on her side, hitting error, just a second hitting error of the set. But it does give the Rangers now a three point lead at 18-15. That one carries long. Score now 15-19. Back-to-back -back points for the Rangers quickly off the timeout. Has a four-point lead. Six points away from the match are the Rangers. They will push it over. Schreier will set to beer line. Touch, and again, the Bremers will have to hit it out of the back line or back row. Beer line again. That one goes wide right. It'll be a third hitting error for Knoxville in this set. For New Bremen, a big point as they get their 16th point to get the ball back. And we'll call on their defense now to come up with a big stop against the Rangers attack. Hit played by Jones, pushed over by Heitkamp. Schreier sets back to Rachel Leffel, and that one hit the antenna, the hitting air. And the point, so New Bremen earns consecutive serves, and there, are, there is no three-point line in volleyball. You gotta get them one at a time, and Coach Webb senses the momentum switch. She'll take her first time out. We'll be back with more volleyball on NK Telco Sports. Wegner's IGA have been servicing their communities for more than 90 years, spanning three generations. Wegner's founded their business on two basic principles, excellent customer service and quality products. Visit all our locations and experience the finest selection of deli, fresh meats, and a variety of beverage choices. While there, don't forget to check out our vast selection of fresh coffee beans, produce, dairy, and bakery items. Visit Wagner's today in Minster, Fort Laramie, and now New Bremen. Welcome back as you get a look at Coach Webb's huddle. We'll let Matt go through our sponsors, allow us to bring you this tonight. Uh, we like to thank 4U Office Supplies, Wagner's IGA, NK Telco, Minster Bank, Minster Dental, Schwederman's Pharmacy, Fowler's TV, and Francis Furniture. We'd like to thank our scoreboard sponsor, First National Bank Think First, our Sydney Body Car Star Replay, 
And the keys to the game sponsor are Bud's Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Salina, where the dealer makes the difference. Player of the game sponsors is Biden of the Bremen Coffee uh, Company and Main Street Station in New Knoxville. Hyde Camp and Pate combine on the block. So Nebremen not going away easily as they've run off consecutive serves now again as it was 19 to 15. Now New Knoxville or New Bremen has scored three in a row. Leffel gets around the blocker, the 20th point now for the Rangers. Leffel her third kill. Rotating out, looks like that will be Miller going back to serve. Ashlyn Miller, Jr. will put the ball into play and play the back row. Pape sets it and close to the net. The hitting error gives a point to the, the Rangers. Now with a three point lead, four points for the match win. New Knoxville can up. sense the game coming to an end, but that takes well, there's it to a, a good point lead. swing there by Highcam. Nice bump set from Madison Pate. Again, downward action on the attack. A two point lead for New Knoxville. Clooney to serve for the Cardinals. Lagerman gets it up to Schreer. They go back to Rachel Luffel. Net violation gives a kill to Rachel Luffel, her fourth. Back to a three point lead for New, Bremen, uh, for New Knoxville. New Bremen trails by three, and New Knoxville three points away from the match and the right to go on to the regionals. Pape sets it up Jones. Her attack played up by Madison Lammers. Will set Lammers. Lammers swings through the block and able to get the point down. Madison Lammers, her first kill of set four. New Knoxville up by four. Ball in the play now. New Bremen close to the net and Pape will have to touch it over. That was Madison Lammers again. If I get the number right, it is. Madison Lammers back-to-back -back kills for her. Match point for New Knoxville, 24-19. High camp gets it to drop. Caught the top of the tape and drops her fifth kill. New Bremen not done yet. 20 to 24. High camp will serve. High camp, 95% server, 32 aces. She needs about four straight here. Lammers attack. High camp will set it over to Jones. Schreer tips it over. So the handling error committed by the Rangers. Now 21 24. Must win by two, so this game will go to at least. 26 if New Bremen can come back. And hitting their servicer in the net will win it for the Rangers. 25-21 your final. New Knoxville wins games one, two, and four. New Bremen game three winners. We'll take a short break when we come back. We'll observe the ceremony here for the district champions here from Van Wert on NK Telco Sports. Innovation, it's all around us. NK Telco developed a fiber network in our communities over 10 years ago when the competitors were only thinking about it. Increasing bandwidth to make it convenient for the whole family to enjoy online entertainment and gaming. With our IPTV solution, you can enjoy over 80 HD channels providing quality TV and movies for the whole family and even take them on the go with our Watch TV Everywhere app. All this from a company that believes in local customer service from people you know and trust. NK Telco, providing services that bring value to your everyday life. At Minster Bank, we understand that life can get hectic. That's why when it comes to your banking, we offer the services that make your life simpler with tools like person-to-person -person payments, pop money, mobile and online banking, and bill pay. 
But most of all, Minster Bank is a supportive member of your community with personal relationships and customer service that reach outside of our branches. Minster Bank, helping people achieve financial success. So now we'll do the award ceremony. First, for your district champion, or district runner-ups, the Nebrieman Cardinals. So a good match tonight here from Van Wert. The Rangers prevail three games to one. And we'll take down our score so we can see the players getting their ribbons, their district runner-up. Abby Tiemann. Kayla Bergman. Some of these are the support players getting a chance to participate in this tournament action, being a part of the environment. Julia Gottemiller. Molly Smith. Madison Pape, freshman, saw her on the court quite a bit tonight. Number two, Paige Jones. Paige Jones, just a sophomore, so she has a couple more years. Number eight, Caitlin Sweeterman. Caitlin Sweeterman, setter for the Cardinals. Kennedy Hoyne. Number 26, Taylor Powers. Taylor Powers. Number 22, Logan Wells. Logan Wells. Number four, Caitlin Arns. Caitlin Arns, number four. Devin Heitkamp. Number 10, Elise Clooney. Elise Clooney. Number 30, Allie Howell. And Allie Howell. The Nebrieman Cardinals, your district runners up. Head coach, Teresa Jenkins. And their head coach, Teresa Jenkins. Jacqueline Dabble, assistant coach. With the captains for New Greenman, and now they will have the four seniors, Caitlin Orange, Devin Heitkamp, Elise Clooney, and Allie Howe. Tough way to end the season. Had a great season, played some very good volleyball, and lost in a tough match here tonight to the new Knoxville Rangers. And and now we'll shift over to the Division Four District Champions, the New Knoxville Rangers. The Rangers. Gary Jones prevented the awards for New Bremen, and for New Knox will be Jerry Vanderhorst and Jenny Flutterjohn. Number one, Tasia Lauf. Tasia Lauf. Kayla James. Number zero, Allison Catter-Henry. Allie Catter-Henry. Number three, Caitlin Lammers. Caitlin Lammers, sophomore. Played a good job for the Rangers so far this tournament run. Number four, Jaden Lauf. Jaden Lauf. Renee 
Renee Shrelicky. Number seven, Shayna Byerly. Shayna Beerline. Did a nice job for the Rangers as well this evening. Number 10, Brianna Jurassic. She had a total of eight kills on the game today. Brianna Jurassic. Number two, Kenzie Schreyer. Kenzie Schreyer running the show for the Rangers all season. The, five, the setter and the 5-1 offense. Number five, Ashlyn Miller. Ashlyn Miller. Jenna Sweeterman. Number 11, Serena Hostetter. Serena Hostetter. Number 8, Madison Lammers. Madison Lammers. Number 13, Rachel Leffel. Rachel Leffel. Abby Lagerman. Head coach, Kay Webb. And head coach, Kay Webb. And assistant coach, Anna James. Assistant coach, Anna James. They bring the four senior captains and Madison Lammers, Rachel Luffel, and Kenzie Schreyer. Well, they will host the district championship plaque. Congratulations to New Knoxville Rangers. They will play Thursday, November 5th at 6 o'clock against the winner of Fairfield Cincinnati Christian or Jackson Center. Congratulations to the Rangers. We'll keep it right here and go through our Players of the Game awards. All right, we'll start off with uh, New Bremen, and that'll be Devin Highcamp. Highcamp today, she had a total of 17 kills, one ace, and three blocks. A uh, total of six blocks total, but half blocks, blocks with yep. assists. Um, so she is the player of the game, for, uh, sponsored by the New Bremen Coffee Shop. Player of the game for New Knoxville is going to be uh, senior Rachel Leffel. She has a total of 12 kills over the four sets, one ace, no blocks. But she is the player of the game for New Knoxville, uh, sponsored by Main Street Station. Let's go ahead and we'll go over some of the numbers for the teams in the four sets. Uh, New Knoxville won 25-21, 25-14. Lost 25-19 and won 25-21 for a total of, um, for New Bremen themselves, they had 45 kills, four aces, and seven blocks. The, their problem area was the uh, errors. They had 24 hitting errors, 10 service errors, and eight unforced errors. For New Knoxville, they had a total of 39 kills, uh, six aces, and three blocks with only 14 hitting errors, nine service errors, and three unforced errors in the, in the four sets. Well, good volleyball match. Um, obviously, someone had to win and someone had to lose. Tonight, your Knoxville just played a little bit cleaner game, just like it did in the uh, Mary local game. Kept it clean, and they prevail. They are going to advance to the regional finals. And uh, with that, we'll wrap things up here. Again, our congratulations to our players of the game and all of our sponsors. And for our crew tonight, we had Patrick Ferguson on camera. Our production crew included Bryce ha Hamrick and Isaac Sell for my partner tonight, Matt Everidge. I am Jeff Henschen. I hope that you enjoyed this telecast. And thanks for watching here on NK Telco Sports.